Hi everybody, I am Magos Partero from Xiaomi Huami and Math Fitspace Math Smartwatch Group on Facebook. Okay, so I put this morning this link who, to a thread in XDA who was entirely made by Never user in XDA. Okay, so all credit for him. I'm just doing this video to show you, to guide you on how to do it, okay? So all credit for him and I'll try to help you. Well, first thing you need to do is to get into the link. You see this thread on XDA. Also, I'd like to say thanks to Pavel, to our administrator, who broke his watch, his smartwatch trying to help us okay so thank you Pavel you're a great person you did really good and I'm really and I really thank you your effort so now you need to go to this link and the only thing you need to do is to follow step by step all the process given here okay first of all of course you need to have uh, ADV drivers installed on your computer okay so if you don't have it you just need to access to this thread I will give you the links below the video okay so you can install it uh, this is an easy tool you only have to download run as administrator this is really really important if you don't run it as administrator you won't install it properly okay so you need as I told you only download this link okay version 1.4.2 and install okay once you have installed it now you can go to this link okay this is the thread where you which will help you to transform your Chinese math feed to English I made before that a full video on how to do it and you could have seen how to how we change from Chinese to English but I don't know why my my cell phone didn't record it well so I'm giving you the instruction without any without any video about the watch okay so I will only guide you through the process uh, as I told you, you need to go to this download link from Mega. You can download it by one of these two ways. I rather using this one. And now it will start downloading. There's no need to wait because I already did it before. Okay, so I'll cancel it. And what you will get is a file that I have here. Okay, I recommend you to have a folder in your C drive with all IDB commands okay and this is the file you will get from Mega okay this one with this side now you need to extract it here you extract here and you will get this folder convert to English okay these are the folder that are inside the files, sorry, this, the file inside the folder and I'm gonna copy them to ADB folder. So you will get this six file. One, two, three, four, five and six. Okay, they are all here. Now we're going to start with the process. You will first we have to open a CMD command windows as administrator okay say yes to this and now we are in a prompt window we in the folder ADB first of all we need to know if our watch is connected properly okay so we have connected by USB now type the following adv devices enter and you will get a, a number okay this means the smartwatch is connected okay 
So now we need to stop to start with the process. As I told you, I did it right before, so I won't do it again. We first of all, according to this guy, need to move all these six files. Well, not the six. The Redmi TXT is not needed. So we need to move this file to the watch. Okay. So we need to type these commands. Okay. These four commands. Uh, I did it as I told you before, and this is the window you will get. Okay, I typed ADB devices, I got this this number, now I put one by one this command, okay, ADB push boot image GC as the car, here you have it, one, two, three, and four, okay, four commands for command use. Uh, be patient in the second one because I really <laughs> got scared because it takes uh, almost two minutes since you press enter and it, you recover the the cursor in CMD, okay? So be patient. 93 seconds and <laughs> it really scared me but it's okay. First one, 2.7 seconds three the third was really fat and the fourth as well now we need to reboot and boot loader that's why we type this command adb shell reboot boot loader we do that and our device will reboot instead of uh, charging window will get a, a laptop icon with fast boot text below okay so then we need to type again adb devices it's supposed to be again the number of the device i didn't get that but i wasn't afraid of that because when i'm flashing my cell phone i don't get it in fast boot mode either don't know why so i decided to move forward okay I try twice, I never get the number of the device, but it was okay for me because I knew before the when I connecting my cell phone and other devices, I never get a number in fast boot mode. So I move forward with the process. I push the next command, which was this one, fast boot boot, a must fit this file, okay? It's here, and this is what I got. Downloading boot, okay. Only 1.4 second booting, failed. I really scared again when I saw that. Failed, status red file, too many links, but it's okay because it's explained in the guide. So I felt, I felt better when I saw that this was kind of normal. And now here is the the scary moment the scariest moment of all you need to type this command okay you need to type this command and when you type this command this is the text you will get okay one by one these lines will be appearing okay first of all i i forgot to tell you that you need to type adv shell okay when you type this line sorry i forgot to tell you that when you type this line you will get a yellow triangle here okay you will get a right a yellow triangle here never mind it's okay and move forward we'll go to the next device to the next line sorry um you will get okay, okay. you can see here too you see a triangle and all the text no command on the watch you are recovery and can enter adb now we're going to enter in the watch guts okay so we need to type adb shell okay when you type adb shell adb shell you will get this one okay adb shell now 
you will get this symbol. You need to type then this command. It's given here. We're moving to the folder. We're moving to the folder where the files are. Okay. CD data media zero. Push enter. And then ls list. This is a command for listing files and folder in this location. Okay. So you will get all these files. In this, in this file are included the one we moved before. Okay. Now it's the critical moment. Now it's when you need to decide if you want to do it or not. You need to type this line. Okay. I decided I wanted to do it so badly, so I did it and I did it right here. Okay. And then you will get this line validating images. Okay, okay. This uh, again, this line take long. Be patient. Don't disconnect your watch. It could take up to two minutes. Okay. Be patient. When it started to flash, well, not not this one. You need to to push enter when you get this line. Okay. And then you will get all these lines. This one only took two seconds, but this one took long. And it really scared me out. It, it really freaked me out. Okay, 90 seconds again. I was waiting. I didn't know if I have lost, lost my watch or not. And then finish and reboot. Okay, reboot is a command I put to reboot the watch. Okay, so if you get all this line, all those are right in here. Okay, if you get all this, okay, it's okay. Now you only need to reboot, and your watch will reboot. It will take almost three minutes. Okay, it will take almost three minutes to reboot, but it will be completely in English. So it's okay. Thank you for watching and share. Bye, friends.